Hi everyone, Yasas Gekaros Sirsnata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making fig crumble bars. They're so delicious with a buttery shortbread crust, a gooey fig filling, and then they're going to be topped with a walnut shortbread crumble. So simple to make. I would suggest that you make a double batch of these because they freeze beautifully and they're just so good with coffee and tea. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin with uh, making the fig filling. I have eight ounces or half a pound of dried fig. You want to get the best, juiciest figs that you can find. Um, Greek figs are, you know, preferable. You can find them usually in Mediterranean markets. Uh, Costco carries them. Um, Greek supermarkets, look for them. They're not that hard to find. If you don't like figs or you can't find them, you can substitute dates or a mixture of your favorite dried fruit. Or you can skip uh, this step with the figs and go with a fig jam. That would be nice too, but I feel like this is hardier and just more tasty. Go ahead and cut off the hard uh, parts of the stem and you can discard them. Then go ahead and put them in a food processor that's fitted with the blade attachment along with a quarter cup of orange juice, a quarter cup of water, two or three tablespoons of granulated sugar, a heaping teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then go ahead and pulse that until the figs are really finely chopped. And it might be a better idea to start off with just uh, finely chopping the figs before you add the liquid. I made that little mistake. So start off by finely chopping them and then go ahead and add the liquid and everything else. And then if you could find an, a really good fig jam, you can go ahead and add two or three tablespoons of it. It's just gonna deepen the flavor, add more sweetness, make it a little stickier. If you can't find the jam, you can substitute an orange marmalade or even an apricot jam. And then pulse that a few more times. And you're gonna end up with a filling that looks something like this. You can get it as smooth or as chunky as you like. The filling is ready, now we're gonna make the shortbread. So shortbread cookie dough is one of the easiest cookie doughs to make and it's just so versatile because you can make cookies out of it, crusts, uh, pie crust, cake crust, uh, crumble bar crust. You're gonna need three quarters of a pound of unsalted butter. Um, all I have is the slightly salted European butter. It's so good, I get it at my local Costco, but they do sell it in all the regular supermarkets too. So I'm not gonna add any salt to this recipe because it's already lightly salted. So use whatever you like and whatever you have on hand. So three quarters of a pound goes in. Then you're gonna need half a cup of granulated sugar and half a cup of confectioner sugar. And I'm gonna get that going a little bit so the butter can just break up and start to cream. And while that's going, I'll add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And if your butter was unsalted, at this point you could also add a quarter to half a teaspoon of salt and just mix that all up until the butter is nice and, and fluffy. In between mixing, I like to go in and scrape down the bottoms and the sides of the bowl just to kind of get everything equally mixed and incorporated. Once the butter is creamed, then I'm gonna go ahead and mix together in a separate bowl three cups of all-purpose flour with half a teaspoon of baking soda. The baking salt of soda is gonna soften that shortbread a little bit and it's just gonna make it so much easier to eat. We're just gonna add that to the butter mixture and mix it until a dough is formed and then we're gonna put it all together. Okay, so form the shortbread dough into a ball and then separate it into two pieces. They don't have to be equal. Um, the bottom should be a little bit bigger than the top, so the bottom one can be a little bit more than half. That looks good. And then you need an eight inch square or round baking pan. I like to use a square one with a piece of parchment paper. I'm gonna roll it up first and then I'm just gonna line the pan with it. When you roll it up, it just stays in place easier and you want some of it to extend on the outside of the pan so that way um, it's easier to lift it out later on. And then go ahead and press the dough to line the bottom of the pan. You just wanna make one even layer like that and then top it with the fig filling. Just spread that filling all across the top. It's gonna to be a nice thick layer.
And then I have some chopped up walnuts. I like to keep these in the freezer. I get a big bag and then I just chop them up, you know, in the food processor and then just keep them frozen. They stay fresh in there for months. I'm just going to press the walnuts into the dough. And you can add some cinnamon to this if you want to. If you like oats in your crumb topping or crumble topping, you could do that too. But I like to keep it simple with just the walnuts. Um, pecans are a good substitute, almonds, pistachios. Use whatever you have, whatever you love. Or you could leave it plain without the nuts. And then I'm just going to take pieces and just put them over the top like that to create a crumble. I like to use all of it. You can save some of this and just roll out roll it out and just cut out some cookies, but I just like to put all of it on here. There you have it, it's ready for the oven. So this is gonna bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 45 to 55 minutes or until the top is beautifully golden. Then you're gonna take it out and it needs to rest for a while, a good 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour. It tastes so good while it's still warm with a nice scoop of ice cream, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. So it took 45 minutes for my big crumble bar to be ready, baking in the oven, and then I did let it cool completely. It's still slightly warm, but it is crucial that you let it sit at room temperature for a good hour so that way when you go to cut into it and serve it, it doesn't fall apart. Instead, it holds its shape. It is a great dessert to make ahead of time. You can make it early in the morning, and if you're serving it at a party, just take it out. And it's best to serve this at room temperature. You could serve it cold too if you want. It's, it is going to stay slightly soft because of the baking soda that's in there, but it smells amazing. Make some Greek coffee, call some friends over. I cannot wait to try this. Mm. It's so gooey. That fig filling tastes delicious. It almost tastes like fig jam. You could throw some nuts in there if you want to. The topping is also nice and soft, but also crisp at the same time like a shortbread is. It's just so buttery and delicious and good. You can cut in small pieces, big pieces, whatever you want. I would definitely make an extra batch of these and keep them frozen. If you're making a batch for the freezer, you just assemble the whole thing and you don't bake it. You just set it in the freezer and you could freeze it and then bake it straight out of the freezer without thawing it out. I would uh, cover it with some foil and put it in a 350 degree oven, cut some holes in the foil so that way it doesn't get um, soggy and let it bake in the oven covered for about 30 minutes and then uncover it and bake it until it's nice and golden so that it bakes all the way through. It's gonna take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so, but you'll know it's done when it has that perfect color on top. If you don't cover it, what happens is it's gonna look like it's done because the top is gonna to bake faster and then the bottom crust is not gonna be fully cooked once you if you bake it frozen. You could also, th if you're very organized, you could thaw it out overnight in the refrigerator and then bake it for 45 minutes in the oven. It's up to you. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. The holiday season is right around the corner. And if you have any special requests, post them in the comment section and I'll add them to my list and I'll create my versions of them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.